what a difference in the 2 3 4. We talked about yesterday that I thought the key player to Boston was John Fallon. Pitch just misses inside. It's ball two. Joe Brinkman is working the plate today. Yesterday's home plate umpire Dale Scott on the right field line. Again, if you're not used to it in the postseason, of course, even in this round, there are six umpires with umpires on each line, and all of a sudden, Doc is 3 0. Well, those last two pitches are pretty good pitches. Look like they're at the knees. Obviously, Joe Brinkman thought they were low, but they look like good pitches, and if Doc can't get those pitches today, he's in trouble. And Mike Hargrove's going to go out and not talk to Doc. He's going to calm Doc down, but he's also going to have Brinkman come out to the mound here so we can talk to him. I would guarantee you, Mike Hargrove's going to take all kinds of time and stand on this mound. And make Joe Brinkman come out from behind the plate to talk to him. Well, Mike only looked at Brinkman three times on the way out to the mound. So well, he's gonna, let's see. I mean, this, this ball looks like it's right at the knees and on the corner. That, that's a pretty good pitch. Yeah. I mean, I, if you can't get that in this ball game, if Doc has to get the ball up higher than that, then, then he's going to be in trouble today. So that's why Hargrove's out there talking to Doc Good. Joe and Brinkman doesn't bite on it, though. He doesn't leave the play. There you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now he does. I gotta agree with Mike Cargrove. I, I really do. I thought both the last two pitches were right at the knees and right there. Establish a good strike zone early. They have a good ball game. Oh my goodness, he's tossed after three pitches. Hey, he was upset with the umpiring yesterday, but an 11 to 3 game, it's a moot point. And now here comes uh, Dave Phillipson from third base. Kevin, three pitches into the game. You're I've tossed. never seen that. I've never seen that before in my life. But I, I got to agree with Mike Cargo as far as the location. I know that Will Brinkman has got a better vantage point, but from the replays and what we saw from up here on the monitors, it's a good pitches. If you can't get those in this game, like I said, it's going to be a long day for Cleveland. Oh, boy. Oh, he's not done. Hey, why not? He can't come back later. He oh, might as well get it all in now. I'm not surprised that Mike was angry. I, I would definitely be angry also. A little surprised that he got kicked out and couldn't contain it enough because they need Mike Cargo to manage this ball game. In a five game series, down one nothing in your own ballpark, it's very important for Mike Cargo to stay in the game, and obviously he's gone. Well, the fans give him a standing no, but Mike is done managing. Or is he? And we'll talk about that in a moment. Here are the three pitches. Uh, here's the first one. That's down. Fastball down. The second one's a fastball. Looked like it had the inside corner. That one looked like it had the outside corner. Both were at the knees. But Brickman's calling them down. And now Doc, who hasn't thrown a pitch for four or five minutes, walks Darren Lewis on four pitches, and Hargrove is now seeing all he needs to see. And you know what? I hope he enjoys our, our, uh, our telecast. <laughs> he will see it. Last pitch from Doc Good, and this ball's high. No question about that. But two of those balls look like they're right at the knees and on, on both sides of the plate, hit the corners. But Joe Brickman didn't call him for being inside or outside in the two pitches that Harbor felt he missed. He called him for being down. 